Wahiguru Ji Ka Khalsa, Wahiguru Ji Ki Fateh. The big question is, why are we doing 350 miles bike ride? What is the purpose behind it? A group of 30 cyclists have taken on the fundraising challenge of cycling all the way from Scotland to Birmingham. As part of this challenge, the cyclists will use pedal power to cycle an epic 350 mile journey, braving the hills of the Scottish Highlands all the way back to Birmingham. The scenery has been amazing. If that's what we've seen in the first 30 miles, imagine what we're going to see over the 350 miles. COVID-19 has changed the world and at Seek Helpline we have seen an increase in calls relating to a number of areas as a result of the pandemic. Now the Seek Helpline has been running for the last 20 over years, helping and supporting the community in many, many different ways. To support the Seek Helpline by sponsoring and donating at www.seekhelpline.com forward slash bike ride. We actually had a couple of calls from, from various people saying that they were going through some issues and we referred them on to the Seek Helpline. Okay. And um, eventually, you know, we got to know about what sort of the saver, how it works and stuff. So we thought we'd try and help out a little bit. Absolutely. Seek Helpline is an amazing charity that has been working for the last 20 years, helping people who have struggled with issues such as bullying, uh, drug-related incidents, whether it's domestic violence or all sorts of other things. Seek Helpline has been there to give a helping hand, help them through those and where necessary point them in the correct direction and generally it's been an honour to work with an amazing group of volunteers who give up their time to help others. Yeah well I think about the Seek Helpline for me you know, as I said right at the start of the today one of the big things about West Midlands Police's mission is about helping those in need it's one of the things that's very very strong in the Sikh faith and it's absolutely demonstrated through the work of the helpline. A helpline that's there to help the Sikh community and any other community who comes forward uh, around problems they've got. Really good quality advice and we really support it and that's why we sponsored today. Absolutely, thank you. So there you have it from Chief Police of West Midlands. You couldn't get any bigger words from an important person of the community. बच्चे बच्चियां नू गाइड कर रहे हो गलत कमांडे विच पहन दियो तो असी तो आधे बहुत शुक्र गुजार हैं। सी कॉपलाइन इस इस एक फंटास्टिक चैरिटी दैट हेल्प्स द कम्युनिटी हेल्प्स अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल इन द एरिया विद अ लॉट ऑफ इश्यूज एंड आई फील आई एम क्वाइट ऑनर्ड टू बी एक्चुअली पार्ट ऑफ द चैरिट uh, the Sikh Helpline is a, is a multi-faith uh, charity that helps anybody in distress. We specialise in al alcohol abuse, drug abuse, sexual grooming, child sexual grooming, domestic violence, mental illness, depression, the full spectrum. We've got a lot of professionals that come in on board, a lot of people that help, and it's a free service. And also the West Midland Police sponsor us, and it just shows what kind of uh, magnitude this charity is on. Sikh Helpline does a wonderful job. And then I would, uh, with, I thought we should continue supporting them. Um, I'm honoured to be part of the Sikh Helpline team um, that works relentlessly for the uh, community. Um, to watch the Sikh Helpline flourish is beautiful. To be able to support the local community means everything to myself and Jazz. You know, we remember this is helping people in their daily lives. You know, uh, Gianni Sukha said at, at the beginning of the bike ride made it very clear. He gave us an example of who it's helping, the people that it's actually helping every day. My name is Baldeep Singh. I'm a barrister. I'm a volunteer with the Seek Helpline and assist on a range of legal issues uh, that callers face. As you, as you guys know yourself, yeah. and Gianni um, Sukhasang and everybody on that who does so much seva, this, this is nothing from our side. Jinni Seva to see you guys do 365 days around, yeah. the, uh, around the year and that. People who are in stress, people who, who don't have anywhere else to go on that. This is compared to nothing, not even a Kanika compared to, 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 to that seva and that. And that. And we're all out here participating together for Seek Helpline and it's an awesome charity for normal work that they should contribute to the society and uh, together we can make an impact. What Seek Helpline is completely up my street. Oh, are they? Yes, they're dealing with um, uh, people who have problems with mental health, um, who have domestic violence in their households, grooming, those kind of things. Um, so again, she's doing a fantastic job what message and we're here to support him. The Seek Helpline is really, really important. Um, everyone should sponsor it. Even if you can't sponsor somebody, you can actually do a direct debit. I do a direct debit monthly, five pound a month. It's helping our community. It's giving somebody a place to go if they're struggling with anything. I've done some work with the, um, the Seek Helpline 
and having spoken to Gyaniji and other members and other volunteers <laughs> and, and other volunteers, I know the kind of work that the sensitive kind of work that you do. And obviously without your support and without your organization, a lot of these victim stroke survivors would never have come forward. Uh, Gyani Sukha Singh and his team has done a wonderful job of creating a separate Sikh helpline. So use it. Some of you may very well, if needed, get help from the other resources. But if you have something about uh, 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 some confusion about your faith and how it is interacting with your health, call them. Make use of them. They are doing a wonderful job. We also have Diljit Baji, Vaguji Khalsa, Vaguji Fateh. We also have Jat, who's a regular person and a regular uh, writer and uh, presenter on oh, the show. And also we have Suki. So thank you all for coming in today and thank you guys for tuning in. Gyani Sukhad Singh, tell me what's this all about then? Well, uh, we are doing the Sikh Helpline through Bike Ride. Right. It's from Scotland to West Midlands. Uh, we're finishing in West Brom. Mm -hmm. I'm sure the team will give further information into it. You know. And all of this is for the Sikh Helpline. Yeah. Because the Sikh Helpline has been running for the last 20, 25 years. Yeah. And at this moment, it has gone to such a level, it's a national helpline. And because it's a national helpline, uh, we have a lot of. Uh, lot of uh, calls coming in and we expanded quite a lot that we got two three people who are working for the helpline right and the truth is the foundation the financial foundation of the helpline is through the bike ride yeah because we don't get any more funding for we don't get any funding from the government or anywhere at this moment so the only way the helpline is actually surviving and moving and running forward is through the bike ride so every year we hope to do diff different bike ride and get the sangha to join in uh, be active in your bike ride, be healthy and also they put seva towards the <coughs> fundraising of the helpline. So this, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken, this bike ride, it was, it started off from uh, a third 25 mile bike ride, wasn't it? From Birmingham yeah, Stratford Road to Wolverhampton, that's how it started yeah, off, didn't I, it? I think it was in 2014 14, or something yes. like that, uh, when the first time someone just recommended, why don't we do a bike ride? Yeah. And it just started, I think the first bike ride we did uh, 20, 20 over miles. 25 from, yeah, 25 20? from uh, Stratford to Walsall yeah and we had about 60 65 riders yeah then the following year we increased it to Wolverhampton yeah and then that's where we had 70 80 riders every year it increased until we started getting 100 140 riders wow and uh, last year we decided to do a 50 miles bike ride because wow. everybody wants extra challenge <laughs> and, and not even realizing that we want to take 38 riders but we end up having 170 riders wow and it was wonderful seeing people from london from bradford from different different part of the countries came down to join in this bike ride to so, support the helpline so in regards to this 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 got to be a lot of organization into this you can't just get up ring five or six people and tell them to ring five or six people and get into a you know a meeting point and and off you go what, what's the organization behind this it must be a lot uh th there is a lot of uh in the background there's a lot of work yeah practically you have to look at the safety you have to look at the riders you have to look at so many things i think uh, uh suki lote will give you more of the mm. background story of how the whole bike ride happens you know? okay and uh like i said earlier this whole thing is for the helpline yeah uh, because through the helpline some of the riders they who, who got help and support from the seek helpline they started joining the bike ride uh, because they felt that uh, it's the organization which actually helping people out people. there and I'm, I'm glad you said that because you know fair enough it's a bike ride and and you know we're doing it for charity which is which is amazing but why is the real reason you've started this what's what what kind of things do you did you deal with for you to say you know what i'm going to stand up and support people because we can't see this going on well if i go back to the beginning, I think this is about 20 over years, yeah. where the first time, we, I do a lot of Sikhi camps, Gurmat camps for yeah. kids. I've been doing that for the last 30 over years. Yeah. So one of the camps, we had an open discussion, it says Sikhism in, in Western society, how do we survive? Yeah. And this young girl, I think she's 13, 14 years old, she started sort of 
expressing herself, her emotion that how she'd been bullied in school. Right. She'd been called names, throwing the pushed around and her mom and dad are from India. Was this in Birmingham? Yes, yeah, Birmingham. Yeah. And the dad was afraid to go and talk to the school because he doesn't know how to communicate. Mm. And when she go to the Gurdwara, the Ganesha from India, the Prabandha Kasyane, and she felt totally lost. She felt totally alone. Uh, I actually went with her to the school, took the parents along. We resolved the bullying matter. Yeah. And then I, I, what came to my mind is, I say, if she's going through this, how many other kids are going through this? Mm. Now, we, we, the Sikh community is such a great community. They do a lot of seva around all, around all the world, you know. But when I look at our children, how they are suffering with bullying, discrimination, hate crime, uh, and then a lot of other issues which is not being dealt with. Yeah. So as we as as we go on, we we just put a name Sikh helpline, not thinking it's going to be a national helpline. Yeah. I just put helpline and gave my uh, we are staying in the Gurdwara, no? Yeah. So I gave my house number. My wife started complaining. <laughs> she said whenever she run and carry the phone, he say the helpline, helpline. He said why don't you have a separate line for it? Then we develop a separate line. And then when I realized there is really a need into this because there's alcohol, drugs and many other issues. I was just going to say, yeah. Yeah, so because of all of this, we then we, we established a small group of people. We got a website up and running. And then uh, after, I think, what, eight, nine years ago, we actually charity registered the helpline. Mm -hmm. We got trustees on board. Uh, and then we were... Uh, Still running the helpline voluntarily. So it's fully transparent. There's, it's a registered charity. Yes. I mean, you, you you know you're you're making you know good steeps and volume when you've got people like the West Midlands Police, you know, Women's Aid people are that supporting you, sponsoring you, working closely with you guys. Yeah. Uh, I think Bernardo's <coughs> as well was it? Did you say that were with you? Yeah, we, a lot of different organisations organization. they they do support. You know, because the thing is, uh, sometimes we get calls where. Uh, other uh, other organizations do not understand the background or the culture values of, yeah. uh, of our faith you know, or our religion or whatever. You know. uh, and then they end up coming back to the helpline. So just to put this out there, you said you don't get any funding from the government. It's all through donations and seva. Yeah. The volunteers, they, they're volunteers. They don't get yeah. paid or anything like no, that. We, we have got staff who are working for the right. Sikh helpline. How, how many do you have? Uh, we've got three of them. Three of them, right. Yeah, because the thing is, to, to keep it up and running, you cannot really de uh, depend on volunteers all the time. Yeah. Because the, the amount of volume of calls coming in, the, the amount of seriousness case comes in where mm. people were crying and feeling very down. And then we uh, we thought, look, we, we need to get uh, people who paid and who can actually handle the calls. Yeah. And then we got uh, 80, 90 volunteers all over around. Like this is nationally. Nationally. Yeah. The, now, just to take one volunteer, I tell you the amount of work you have to put in is First, you, you need to do a full interview, look at the documents, then get two references, do a DBS check. Good. We have to go through all the process and then send them to do, a, we got eight stages of training, or it's our internal website. Yeah. Uh, understanding the data protection, understanding safeguarding and all these kind of things. You know? So practically, there's a lot of work we'll go through just to get one volunteer on board. So you imagine 80, 90 volunteers coming and going on the helpline. Yeah. So there's a lot of uh, admin work in the background, okay. which is going to be very difficult just to depend on uh, volunteers. Well, when when you say you've got a lot of volunteers that there, they've got they've got all these are these like specialized people? What are they? Are they just anybody, or are they have they got what what kind of background are they from? You see, the volunteers <coughs> we have, uh, they all are professional in their own fields. Right. We we got our admin team mm -hmm. who's uh, actually dealing with the calls every day. Mm -hmm. They'll they 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 take the initial call and then they will uh, send it to the region leads. Yeah. The region leads will have what 10, 15 volunteers each. So most of the volunteers, some of them are already professional in domestic violence, some of them are uh, professional in their own skills. Like know. substance abuse yeah, and yeah. things like that. Yeah, in drugs and so on. So they want to give back something to the community, so right. they volunteer with the helpline. Okay. So that's where we forward the case to them and then they will deal with it, help them and support them and uh, go through uh, whatever is needed okay. to put them in the right path. Well, I'm going to move over to Jack. Hi. Jack, tell us how has your involvement come with the Seek Helpline? How did you hear about this? Well, I, I have replied to a volunteer um, advert on Sangat TV just to help do into production sort of camera work and all that stuff. And then I met Gyanji and then obviously Gyanji was into cycling. I was doing a little bit of cycling here mm. and there. Um, and then he was just telling me about the Scotland ride and can we do it? Yeah. Um, I was all up for it and saying, yeah, we can do it. I did do it two years ago. Right. But it is a really hard ride. It's not something that you can just pick your bike up and do yeah. it. I mean, I'm doing now, these last two months, 200 miles every week. Yeah, just to prepare because we've got 
350 miles over four days and that's like 100 on the first, 110 on the first day 100 the second day 100 the third wow and you know you don't get a break you'll get to the god for eight nine at seven eight nine o'clock and you're up at six and you're on the bike again so you said it's a lot of hard work obviously you can't just pick up a bike and off you go what what's the uh you know what's the skill involved what's the training involved what's the diet involved in something like well, this on this sort of front i've got to thank um well you know with with the whole training, I felt like I've missed a lot of time with my kids and a lot of sacrifices all of us have had to make Right on our bike. Like, for example, my kids, I'll give a shout out to Rose, Jamie, and even my ex-wife. She's <laughs> helped me as well. So right. but the, they've done everything for me. I mean, every weekend that I don't have the kids, I'm on my bike. Right. Um, you know, 12 hours a day, Saturdays and Sundays. The dietitian, I mean, for me, for example, in the last month, I've lost a stone just from the amount of training I'm doing. But it's important that you have nutrients such as um, enough protein, lots of milk. Um, we're drinking litres of water a day, we have salt tablets in our tablets and we just make sure that we're fueled all the way through and after mm -hmm. and just make sure that we get enough breaks in and going forward as well because our bus body's got to repair for the But this day. is this is specific to you, right, the dietitian? Not, we're not saying that you guys need to go out there and start putting salt in water. No, no, no. no. <laughs> this, is, this is for Jat and this is Jat's nutrition yeah, programme. Yeah. So please consult your physicians and yeah. your doctors for your own. So when, when you're cycling, you have these tablets called high five tablets. Yeah. That you have. And, and when you're doing any physical exercise, after a while, you lose salt right. in your body. So these are just... Like electrolytes yeah, and things electrolytes. like that. So they're the ones that just add them up so you keep to the same level. Okay. But training wise, it's all about getting in the saddle. And I know it's, it's great when we saw 350 miles, me and Gunji, let's do it. We'll all do it. But this time, you know, we did it two years ago. The older you get, it's really hard work. I mean, we are spending... Gunji's out ev nearly every day doing 40, 50 miles. I can do it on the weekend. When I'm on the weekend, it's 12 hours every single day, 100 miles a day on it. So there you go. You've got you to put in a lot of hard work to, uh, to reap the rewards, as one would say. So I'm going to move on to Suki now. Suki, a bit of a veteran in the cycling game, aren't you? I've got the jersey. You've got the jersey, haven't you? <laughs> you, 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 you <laughs> we've seen, we seen you on some of the clips there, man. Yeah. The London rides. I can mean, sorry, the Scotland ride. How? How was that for experience? Yeah, so um, obviously I've been I've been a, a cyclist for over ten years now, running and cycling, and um, so, I enjoy yeah, you sure. know cycling. I enjoy running. I, I enjoy a healthy lifestyle. Yeah, and um, it's kind of come it's glove and glove here. Where when I met Yanni G, I was already doing this stuff, and um, we we actually have three formats of um, rides. We have a smaller ride, an intermediate ride, which is about fifty miles, and this is a signature ride, the pro ride as we call this. Yeah, and this is a three hundred fifty mile challenge. It's quite big, eh? So. Um, so it's um it's good because it's during the couple of years i've been involved in the the big bike ride i've seen um y youngsters i've seen inexperienced people become so experienced they've they've then you know they've i've learned things off them they've learned things off us and we've built a really nice community of cyclists now mm -hmm. and it's not just in birmingham we've got uh, a lot of people in, in in bradford we've got a community in slough and london and it's bringing a lot of people together and the reason is for the same cause of supporting the seeker helpline and um, creating the awareness through f through events so it's um it's um you know it's fantastic to be part of this and the yeah. 350 is is a big challenge even for somebody like myself yeah um to do that so so you're saying so basically through through your love of cycling i would say you guys you've you've met gyan niji you found out about the charity you found out about the good work they do and then you're basically become sponsored volunteers haven't you where you go out go on riding try and raise money for this good cause and things like that you're part of cycling clubs as well aren't you Ollie? that's right that's right we've um i represent two clubs in birmingham cannon hill cycling club and king's eath cycling right. cycling club and um we've all now joined the cycling club so um it's nice to just speak to people about the charity speak to the events they ask oh, what what is what you're training for and we yeah. tell them we, we 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 ride out with our jerseys so it's nice to just use a, an, an event or a cycling event to create awareness, awareness for the charity as well so we can tell those stories so you know this bike ride it's obviously 350 miles it's from birmingham to scotland Correct. do you want to give us some of the uh, key points where they're going to be stopping off yeah or? so um so the, the the ride is actually at the end of the month and um we'll be starting off from gurunana gudwara um in edinburgh okay so if any side thing want to come and join us and they want to see us off um please do so um the 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 address is um um it's in edinburgh it's eh65 tj and it's the gurunana gudwara and we'll be starting off on the third um, Thursday, the 29th of July, okay. uh, very early in the morning, about six o'clock in the morning. Oh, sorry, I've just got to hold on you there. We've got a call coming through. I think it's Gug and Deep on the call. You, do you want to? Do you want to put him through, please? Hello. Hello. Why good evening, Carl Sir? Why Jiki Fate? How are you doing, Gug and Deep? You okay? Why good evening, Carl Sir? Why Jiki Fate? How are yeah, you? Good, thank you. Just came back from a bike ride just now. Damn, we've got all the bike riders coming <laughs> in. Hopefully, he's into training. <laughs> yeah. So, Gug and Deep, please tell us. Uh, your reason for calling today? 
Yeah, I just wanted to call to share my support for the Seek Help Line and to let you know a little bit why I'm raising money and raising awareness for the Seek Help Line. Perfect. Um, I, I, it's, a, it's a great group of um, people that I've um, been in touch with, uh, with the likes of um, Gianni G and uh, Suki Latte. And, oh, um, so, you, so you know these guys are fantastic. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Please continue, continue. Yeah, sure. Um, so when, when I heard about the challenge, I'm a keen cyclist myself. Um, it's something I thought would be a great thing to do for this year, thing with COVID and there's so many things that have been cancelled. Yeah. And um, why not do it for such a great cause? Yeah. Um, such as the Seek Line. Oh, fantastic. I'm going to do that. You, you represent a, um, a cycling club in Slough. You're from Slough, London, right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So I started it last year, um, just a group of friends, and it's slowly growing uh, to become quite okay. um, a big club from Slough. Based. Well, Gagani, thank you so much for your call today. It was really nice speaking to you and to you for sharing your kind words and your support. And hopefully, uh, you know, good luck on the ride when you do it at the end of the month. Take care. Thank you very much. Yeah. And good luck, everyone. Thank, Thank you. you. So, could Thank you, you want to quickly finish off that? Because yeah, I want to sure. speak to Daljit as well. No problems at all. So, Daljit, you can actually f finish off them. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Perfect. Be good. But Daljit, before you do, yeah. you're you're a you're a you're a novice to this, aren't you? So yeah, I did the um, 50 miles back in October, right. and I met Yanni G, and I met some of the team. Yeah. And then <clears throat> I started cycling about three or four years ago, right. and then the idea of the long distance endurance stuff, and then. When the guys mentioned, obviously there was a ride to from Scotland to Birmingham, I thought that sounds incredible. And then it's great because we've got like a WhatsApp group. Right, there's okay. full on encouragement. There's you know there's rides almost every week and even during the week. So there's a lot of like encouragement to stronger and um, to strengthen us as a as a as a unit, so almost as a group. Yeah. So there's a lot of cadence and movement to get everyone there. Um, and there's never a situation where anyone ever feels like oh my god there's this person who's yeah. so much more experienced everyone's just a team and it's really nice to meet everyone and be part of the community well, where, where about you from then because you're not from Birmingham so I'm from Nuneaton oh, right. um, and like I say I got I saw it actually through the social media channels about yeah. the, um, the original ride in October which is from um, a good one in Birmingham um, to Leamington Spa good one and then back and then um, I absolutely loved it I met some very very good friends there yeah. um, and it was something that they were doing and then um, you just kind of put up the community right together. Right. I'm gonna have to stop you there. Yeah, sure. We've got another guy calling in, so uh, over to our caller. Hi, is it Sonny? Hello. Hi, Hi. Sonny. Welcome Hello. to the show. Yes, Where are you calling from, my friend? I'm calling from Slough. Oh, fantastic. Another one from Slough. We just uh, we just had another guy from there, Gugandeep. Do you know him? <laughs> yeah. I oh, you do? Oh, yeah. fantastic. So tell us where uh, your uh, for your reason for calling today. I uh, wanted to offer my support yeah. uh, to them. I'm also riding with them. Oh, but, fantastic. Uh, yeah. Um, I mean, that, this is the first time I'll be doing something. Oh, okay. Uh, on Monumental, but they've, uh, I think they've done it a few times. Yeah, these guys are like seasoned pros. They are. So what, what kind of training are you doing very quickly? Because we've only got a couple minutes left. What, what kind of training are you doing for this? So I do, uh, I do a few short rides, a couple of short rides on the weekdays. Okay. And, uh, I try to do longer rides on the weekend. Okay. So this is what this is where you get your uh, energy from. Wow. Yeah. Are you are you nervous? Yeah. Yes. Sorry. I said, are you nervous or are you fully ready? Uh, well, I think I'll never be ready for those many miles. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> I'm sure I'll manage. Perfect. Well, Sunny, thank you so much for calling today. Thank you very much, and good yeah. luck on your ride. Uh, and we'll we'll hopefully wish you well on the day. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Do you want to quickly give yeah, us the sure. uh, postcodes then? So, uh, as Suki said, so the ride starts from um, Goodwater in Edinburgh. So that's. Do, do, do you want to say the postcodes as well? Go for it. So that's the the EH six five TJ, and then um, we'll be arriving then in Newcastle upon Tyne, uh, Goodwater Singh Sabha yeah. on the NE four five QU. Perfect. And on Friday the thirtieth, um, the Sikh Temple Goodwater in Leeds, and that's. LS seven four H Z and Saturday um Shri Guru Singh uh Sabha Gudwara uh, and that's D E twenty three eight N T That's Derby in Derby and then finally uh we'll be arriving at the Gudwara Guru Har Rai Saib Ji 
um, B76JW Fantastic. on our final day. Thank you so much. So guys, thank you for joining me today. Thank you for your time. I really appreciate it. I wish you nothing but success for this ride. Please yeah. stay fit, keep training. And you guys there, we're gonna go over to some clips now and then we will be joining you back again with some other guests. Enjoy the clips. I hope you are well and good in Chardikala. My name is Gani Sukha Singh. I'm the founder of the Sikh Helpline. Uh, this year we have got a very big challenge. We are doing a bike ride from Scotland all the way to Midlands in West Brom. It's about 350 miles. Uh, it's happening in July 29th to the 1st of August. We are going to be in Edinburgh to Newcastle and then from Newcastle to Leeds, Leeds to Derby and then Derby to West Brom. Uh, this, all of this is for the Sikh Helpline. And what is the Sikh Helpline? The Sikh Helpline is a charity, a registered charity helpline, which has been helping and supporting the community in many, many different ways. Right from domestic violence, alcohol, uh, mental health, uh, discrimination, panjikakar, bullying, uh, whatever issues, hate crime, whatever problems the community face or anyone face, they call the Sikh Helpline. And we got a lot of good uh, professionals on board which will help and support uh, the bike uh, the Sikh Helpline. And in the past, we've been helping a lot of uh, victims with mental health because of the COVID situation and now we're doing this big challenge is to keep the Sikh Helpline up and running and here we got our two uh, riders uh, do you want to say a few words Andy is also doing the Sikh Helpline bike ride uh, from uh, Edinburgh to West Brom he's also supporting the Sikh Helpline Andy what uh, do you want to say a few words why are you doing this bike ride this big bike ride from Scotland to West Brom. I'm doing the bike ride from uh, for the to help the helpline out because I'm uh, myself in recovery from problems with addiction. Um, I'm five years uh, sober now, and um, so I'm involved in running another helpline. And I think it's important that um, there is somewhere for people to be able to turn to when they're in times of crisis, or and that people should know about it. And um, I know how valuable that that work is. I also know how hard work it is to do to, to do this actual bike ride. We were just talking about it on the way down. 350 miles cycling is a long way. It's difficult to do four days on the trot. Um, and I think a lot of people that, 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 that we're helping support are aware of that. And the, certainly the people that are sponsoring me are aware what a difficult challenge it is and, and how important it is for, 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 for... I think it's important for, for, for people to be able to go somewhere. And, and if the, the way that the Sikh line is funded needs um, staff and, and the staff need to, not, not everybody, I guess some are volunteers, but some need paying and those people need paying, the money's got to come from somewhere. So if we have to do this to, to raise funds and raise awareness, I'm more than happy to do it. And it's also, from my personal point of view, it's a great memory. I used to cycle when I was a kid and all of that got taken away by my addiction. And uh, it's great to be able to get back in, and be involved and do something productive instead of taking out of society and being a leech that I was when I was drinking. I'm not saying it was meant, to, it meant it, you know, I didn't do it deliberately. But addiction does that to you, it turns you into a person that maybe you don't want to be. And this is proving for me that I can be of use to society again. Um, and I'm enjoying doing it, I, I think. Most of the time I'm enjoying <laughs> doing it. Sometimes it's bloody hard work. Oh, I can't say that, can I? However, it is. It is great to be, to be back and free from my, my the addiction that I had. I wake up in the morning now, and I'm not. I don't. The first thought isn't, oh, I must take a drink or I must do this, I must do the other. It's how many miles I'm going to cycle with that madman from the yeah, <laughs> from the good while today. So yeah, no, it's all good, and I'm very much in support of the whole team and the efforts they put into to get this ride up and running. I think that's enough. All right, uh, you want to say a few words? Yeah. Have you got another cyclist with us? I'm uh, David and uh, I'm not taking part in the actual ride but the Seek Helpline is a fantastic um, organisation, institution that obviously helps lots of people who really need their help. Uh, so I'm very pleased to be able to be part of the uh, training team that goes out every week to help prepare these two guys for the big event at the end of July. So I wish luck to everyone. Why good you Khalsa, why good you Fatte? Um, it's 10 o'clock in the morning and 53 miles in 
um, and still going strong. Got another 20 odd miles to do before I get back home. Um, doing this for the Sea Cow Plime because it's a fantastic charity and a great cause. Um, but also, I also want to do this because I want other females to get into cycling because if it wasn't for the Sea Cow Plime, I would never be cycling. And if it wasn't for Gov setting up his um, groups, again, I wouldn't be cycling. So um, next year, I'd love to see loads more females cycling with me. Um, big up the women, yeah! Here we've got our lead, who's leading us and pacing us for the 100 bike miles today we are doing. Jatinda Singh. Hello, how's it going? So how on? is it? Yeah, not too bad. We're 30 miles in, doing good. Yep. Got another uh, 60 miles tomorrow at the Cotswolds. Uh, looking forward to that as well. But so yeah, we're on 100 miles. So I heard you're doing this 350 miles bike ride for yeah. the Sea Cal Plain. I am. That's what I've got. Train 100, 150 miles, 200 miles every week now for it. Because it's a uh, 100 miles day after day. That's the hardest thing. Um, and, and why are you doing this bike ride? I'm, I'm doing it obviously because the Sea Cal Plain is a, is a way. It's a get out of jail card for people that are in real trouble. People that are, you know, getting bullied at school, people who got alcohol abuse and drink problems and drugs um, and suffering from domestic violence. It's not just the seats, it's, you'll find there's lots of people that call the helpline of all faiths and religions. Um, and also genders, we have, you know, there'll be men calling, women calling, everyone's calling that needs help, especially during these times now. So that's why I'm doing it and I wouldn't do it for another reason. And uh, we have Mark Satvinder Singh behind us. Uh, I'll try to get into him. Satvinder Singh. Oh, all the way from Coventry. <laughs> He's joining us for this 100 miles and he's also doing the 350 miles bike ride. Yeah. Uh, so you want to give a little bit of your opinion, why are you doing this bike ride? Uh, well, it's a fantastic charity uh, that really helps the community and we need to look after one another, especially during this time of COVID. So it's a great opportunity to get on your bike, get fit, interact with the community, meet some nice people and enjoy the British uh, countryside. So. I don't see any downfalls really, so get to uh, donating and help out the community where you can. Yeah, there we go, Jatinda Singh, Satvinder Singh and myself, three of us are doing the 350 by um, 350 miles bike ride. And we have got two uh, who have joined us today. Uh, they haven't done 100 miles, they are doing the first time. They said we're going to practice this year and they're definitely going to do next year. All right, I think I have to cut the uh, camera now. But next month, I'm doing a really big challenge. I'm doing Scotland to Birmingham, 350 miles for the Seek Helpline. Why am I doing this challenge? I'm doing this challenge because the Seek Helpline uh, need help with helping people, supporting people, supporting young people who have got nobody to turn to, vulnerable people, people from all walks of life. They will never miss a phone call. Every phone call matters to them because they want to help those people. But they cannot do that by themselves. They need our support. They need my support. The Seek Helpline has been growing slowly. Um, I also done 2019 um, 350 mile bike ride where we had about 15 riders but next month uh, I've been told we've got double that but we still they still need more support so I do urge all my brothers and sisters please help them like I am helping them I'm a busy person I'm surely everybody's busy but we need to take time out to help other people because it's important. I've had a fantastic life. I want to give something back to my community through the Seek Helpline, which are doing fantastic work. Gianni Sukha Sengji, I've been uh, seeing all his work. It's been immense with his team. I'm really, really proud of those people who are helping people. So please help us, please support us next month on our 350 mile uh, bike ride. We need your support. So thank you very much 
We are getting some new guests with us, so on my right, we have Suki Mati. And to my left, we have Gov Singh. Thank you guys for joining us. Suki, I'm going to start off with you, Suki Mati, that is, because we've still got Suki with us from the first show. Is it true you're the only female bike rider on this actual uh, massive am. mammoth bike ride? Yes, this beast of a ride that Gov's got me into, yes. <laughs> so tell us what, what got you into this? Um, so I never learned how to ride a bike as a child. My husband taught me mm -hmm. um, as a middle-aged woman. Um, he's a keen cyclist and um, the first bike ride in 2014, we saw the, the posters in the Godbara yeah. um, and I said to him, let's just do the bike ride. So with a bit of support in the park on how to handle a bike again, um, we did the first bike ride and from there, even though it was a really big challenge yeah. at that time, doing 15 or 20 miles, um, wow. I, I got the bug um, and Gov started setting up some local cycling groups and whatnot and decided to, to join them. And then I think year on year went from strength to strength, really. Um, so are you, are you doing this for like one personal fitness and two to represent for more females to come into this? Or? Yeah, yeah. And also for the Seek Help line as oh. well. Um, so obviously for the the awareness of the sea cow plant and the work that it does yeah. um secondly is a personal challenge and thirdly um for females really because there's you find a lot of gory females yeah. who are into cycling not many asian females so okay, i'm glad you said that hold that thought because we're going to talk a little bit more on that we've just got a live call coming through so if i quickly take this and then we can we can touch back on that so okay hi is it good breed singh uh, hi, Wahiguji uh, Kafasa. Wahiguji Kifate. Thank you for calling in today, Gurpreet Singh. Uh, please, the floor is yours. What's what? Ha, you know, the reason for your call today? I uh, just wanted to uh, first of all say thank you to Gani Sokha Singh for the amazing seva he's doing yeah. and for creating this bike ride. And I'm privileged to you know be able to participate in this. Looking forward to the actual ride. And the community that Ganiji has created and that Suki and all the other volunteers are supporting is amazing. And I think we need more effort like that where we, you know, obviously the save what the charity does is amazing. Yeah. But also the benefit in terms of the health that everybody Fantastic. else would get. That is also like extra benefits, killing two birds with one stone. And uh, yeah, I think looking forward to the bike ride and the experience and kudos to the whole team. Could I, if you don't mind, could I ask how old you are, please? Uh, so I'm 44. Okay. And I started riding last year. This is my, going to be my biggest ride ever. Wow. So, yeah. And uh, where, where, training hard. where are you calling from, if you don't mind me asking also? I'm calling from Hayes in West London. Wow, we've got a lot of big followers from London, haven't we? Yeah. Excellent. Yeah, uh, some good riders here. Well, thank you so much for your call today. I wish you nothing but of luck for this ride, and I know you're going to smash it, even though you've only done a year, but that's a lot more than me. So good luck, <laughs> and uh, we'll be there to cheer you on at the end of the month, okay? Take care, Gurpreet Singh. Thank, thank you so for much. your call. Good luck, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. So, yeah, Suki, back to you. You were saying, you know, there's a lot of non Asian women that aren't taking part in any kind of fitness or anything like that. You, you wanted to, you know, you wanted to be the beacon of representation of that. That's right, yeah, because I don't think um, age, sex or ability should, should limit anyone because um, we're all individuals and it, it's all about the cycling for me is it's therapeutic and it's just you and your bike and it's your mind, body and soul just yeah. to sort of to connect with you and the outdoors. So I, I don't think females need to fear that, oh, I can't, I've got to look after the kids because where there's a will, there's a way. So if you don't mind me asking, do you think, um, you know, some people who are at home, they they don't, they can relate this to like depression and things like that. Is it a good way to get out, see the world, get out of that small comfort zone? Do you think this is? It, it is, and it's a great way to make new friends. It's great, a great way to get physically active yeah. and look after your own physical, personal health, because you're constantly on the rat race of running after the kids yeah. or the housework and work and and not actually stopping to take time out for yourself so i think a lot of more a lot more women should actually take it up and yeah i'm happy to sort of get involved and, and start any kind of sort of lo local group because we've all got to start from somewhere 
and I know I started from like nowhere. <laughs> so <laughs> to, to 350 miles. <laughs> to 350 miles. So it's a great achievement. Well, look, thank you so much. I'm, you know, I'm, well, that's tied in very nicely, Gov, to you now because, you know, you're a veteran in this and um, you're probably one of the main guys who started all this off, along with Suki and Gyani G. What's the training about this? I mean, I know we tried to speak about it earlier, but I'd like to think, because you're a bit more of a veteran in it, explain to somebody who doesn't have a clue. Yeah, so if you think about, let's t say, something like London Marathon, you wouldn't turn up to London Marathon with no training mm -hmm. and, you know, with an old pair of trainers and yeah. think, right, I'll do it. I'll go longer, <laughs> you know. But the thing is, thinking about, we did a show last time, a couple of years ago, and, and straight after the show, we had some phone calls from people saying, you know what, I can do it. You know, I want to join in and I want to do it. And I think it's very, it, you know, looking at us sitting here, you don't see the training that goes in. Yeah. So every person who's doing the ride is spending at least three days a week training. So, for example, this week, uh, it's Monday, I've done 50 miles today. Tomorrow, I'm going to be doing lots of squats, lunges, uh, plank. I've got lots of uh, exercises that have been given to me by the physio mm -hmm. for my knee. So I've got a bit of a dodgy knee. So doing all of those. So it's going to be about an hour, an hour and a half, very intense exercise. Wednesday, I'll do a light bike ride. Mm -hmm. So what I might do is I might set my bike on the rollers and have the, the match on TV. Right. And do, do, do a gentle ride while that's Clean going on. One, yeah. to, to, to people who don't know what rollers are, he's just going to be in the living room cycling on something that's lifted up like a car jack, all right? Yeah. <laughs> so, so I'll be in the living room watching, watching the, the, the match and, and cycling. That'll be a gentle one. Thursday, again, I'll do some weight training. Right. So again, squats with weights, lunges, uh, doing all sorts of things to uh, increase the strength of the glutes. Yeah, it's not sort of um, it's not like weight training in that doing um, low number of reps, high weight to build muscle. This is more exercising to fatigue. Right. So think, you know, doing like fifteen reps, doing three sets of that, and that sort of thing. So completely exercising legs to fatigue. Um, Friday I'll have a rest day. Saturday I'll do fifty miles, and then Sunday I'll do a longer ride, maybe seventy seventy plus miles, and that's you know sort of a typical week and that's been going on for for months now i like that see the thing is i can relate to that and i know it's a bit off topic and i do apologize that a bit because like i play hockey okay i'm not the best hockey player but i'm not the worst either so i'm i, I get sponsored so i get a lot of stuff i get you know like, like this hockey stuff and things like that so that training i can relate to because it's not just going there playing picking up a stick knocking the ball around it's the gym work it's the high intensity the hit cardio workouts I actually do cycle not onto your level but I do cycle a little bit around the place just to give that extra fitness because when you work with calisthenics and resistance as like you said for the glutes mm -hmm. when I go to run and I'm going to hit the ball I can feel the difference I can feel hitting it so I, I'm guessing if you're putting all that training in there that's what probably allowing you to do such a 350 mile, mile ride yeah. I mean you can't like you can't just rock up and say here's a bike here's trainers I'm going to do a marathon I'm going to take this what, what about you, Suki? Let me bring you into this. Um, what training do you do? Do you, is it near enough like Govs or what? Yeah, um, definitely. Without training, you don't get results. And um, you know, this bike ride itself is a challenging one. It's um, it's all about stamina. Yeah. It's about if you can, you know, after after a three four hour cycling, you're you're already consuming a lot of calories and you're fatigued. But we'll be cycling for eight nine hours a day, yeah. basically. So it's um, unfortunately it, it takes time to train, but listen, the, the support the whole team is there. You know, we've all given each other tips of what to do, what not to do, and um, it's all about encouragement and getting everybody together. There's different abilities. You know, yeah. um, there are people who haven't done 200 miles, there are people who haven't done 100 miles, but we've over the last couple of weeks and months we've we've been with them, we've supported them, and we've challenged them and say, "Come on, guys, you can really do this." Yeah. And um, and you know, 2019, the last bike ride we did, we had 15 people on board. And with this one, we've doubled the numbers. We've got now 30 people on board wow. and may, may grow in the future. So it's, this um, is to do the 350, right? Yeah, that's wow. right. So, you know, we've got a lot more people on board now. And um, and it's amazing the, the, in our community to see all these cyclists dotted around the UK. So Fantastic. Um, I think we've got a caller, haven't we? Is it is it Satwan Singh on the phone? Is that through? Hello, yeah. Hi, it's, hello Satwan Singh. Why Khalsa? Why Gujiki Fateh? Yeah, why Gujiki Khalsa? Why Gujiki Fateh? How are you? I'm fine, thanks, uh, Gosh. <laughs> where, where are you calling from, please, tell us. I'm calling from Bradford. Oh, perfect. Uh, thank you, one. That's not down south. <laughs> one from Bradford. <laughs> perfect. Thank you so much. So tell us your reason for calling today. Well, uh, I would like to uh, uh, thank uh, the Sikh helpline 
for the, the charity which is doing a wonderful job. And uh, this, this is a charity at my heart. Wow. And uh, I, I would, uh, I'm participating second time. Fantastic. I did, I did, I did uh, t two years ago and this is the second time I'm doing it. Why am I doing it? At the age of 72. Wow. It's not easy. 72 and you're going to do a 350 mile bike ride? Yes, well I'll give it a try. Uh, uh, That's amazing. Good, good support I get from the fellow riders. Yeah. And uh, the Sikh Line Health Volunteers. Uh, and it's a good cause, so I would definitely do it. Uh, I'm told if you want to do anything, yeah. you, you need to do Kamai Karni Pandiya. Kamai Karni Pandiya. I think they're seeing some clips of you as well while you're, uh, while you're talking. No, I, I ride, I ride 20, 20, 30 to 40 miles every day. That's at once the in there. And weekends I ride longer. Wow. Yeah, and it's, it's, uh, I hope, I hope I will, I will succeed and, and the people will support me. Absolutely. Well, you've got my support. You certainly got all these all guys the support, support behind you. So, so it's one thing, thank you so much for your call. I'm really, really impressed and I'm really, really proud that at your age, even though age isn't a number, you are not just doing a 10 mile bike ride, you are doing 350 miles for the second time. My hat off to you. Thank you for your call today, Satwan Singh Ji. And good luck on your ride. And we, we're wash, wishing you well on the day. Waji Khalsa, Waji Fateh. So, Gyani Ji, I'm going to come over to yourself now. I mean, 72 years old. Yeah, the, What's going on here? <laughs> what are you feeding know. them? What are you doing to them? <laughs> I know he's a great rider. We we also got people who are sixty five. Uh, I think one to them or sixty seventy. That's Satwan Singh, right? Yeah, that's there, yeah? Okay. Singh. He, he's a brilliant rider. He uh, two years ago he joined us. Yeah. And he's just flying on his just bike. Flying away. Uh, we so, are chasing behind him. <laughs> what What do you think? He, you know, and uh, before we go on to this, because I want to know about the organisation bit as well. So I'm going to come back to you on that, Suki. What training do you think? So one thing's doing for this at 72? I think he's such a brilliant person. He he got a cycling club in yeah. in Bradford. Right. So he takes a lot of people out for riding. And one wonderful thing which I found out he had done is uh, there were people who are blind yeah. in uh, in Bradford. Yeah. So they got the bike where two people can sit. Yeah. So he'll take the blind person behind his bike. Oh wow. And he will cycle. Those are tandem make, bikes, right? Yes. Yeah. It make make them feel the atmosphere and the cycling. Wow. And give them that kind of uh, feeling and that experience and, and the experience and that is really wonderful where i don't see a lot of people doing for no. that uh, i do respect him a lot. hats hats off to him absolutely hats off to all you yes drop. please go ahead uh, one of the things that you notice with all of the riders who take part in this and from satwanti who's 72 to we've got riders in their 20s everyone has that positive mental attitude yeah you know and it does take that you know you like one of the things that you know whenever i do exercise at the end i'll always do a meditation at the end yeah uh you know do some simran and that really helps to like calm your mind and focus yeah. your mind and I, and you know um i've got a t-shirt home which says miles on my meditation with a bike <laughs> on there and i feel that you know when i'm cycling i i feel in my head just going around why i grew why i grew as wow. i'm as i'm pedaling and it makes you feel so good you it know? gives you that energy doesn't That's it, it. When, yeah. we, when you're stuck in you know the modern world and you've got buildings all around yeah. you to get out into the countryside see the green you feel one with nature. It's different, isn't it? It's completely I mean, I can say to you guys, you guys are sitting here, sitting here, sitting here, sitting here, sitting here, 72 years old, Maja Sonlo. 72 years old, he's doing a bike ride again, 350 miles. Yeah, 350 miles. Yeah, he's just walking down the road, he's riding. But before we go there, I'm going to go over to Suki Singh. Tell us about the, uh, the organisation of this. Yeah, sure. There's a, a lot goes into it because this is the, the big ride. So the, the, the key thing is the route yeah. to ensure that we're not going down motorways, dual carriageways. We're making sure that the route is safe. Yeah. It's, all, it's all minor roads, country lanes. Um, above all, it's all to do with the health, health and safety of the riders, basically. Yeah. It's making sure we've, de we've got designated stops. Yeah. We know everybody, where everybody's going to be. We've got, um, we'll have live tracking on the day. We will send that out, out on our social media platforms on the day but there's a lot of organization and it only comes with not just myself it comes with a strong team we've got around us jack we met before um so we've got a strong team and we you know we want we want to make sure it's enjoyable as well it's not yeah. everybody just sweating and just going there we want to make sure it's an inclusive um, event and it's an event that people want to go back to again yeah. so so you know we've got a great 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 team to to um 
to support us in the organisation of the rights. First aid, things like we've that. We've got that? everything covered. So you can, whether yeah. you ask, we we've got, uh, got covered. That kind of stuff. Yeah. We'll have the support vehicles coming down with us. Sure we'll have a first thing. aid person. We'll have a van just in case of um, um, issues with the bikes. So we've tried to really put ourselves in the ride and understand from a rider what do they need. Yeah. So even to do with fueling, about um, water, the stops. Um, God has spent a long time making sure the route that we're going on is safe to go on. And um, so it's going to be a fantastic adventure for the new guys that are coming board. And um, we welcome you and um, it's going to be a great adventure. And you'll see by the videos and the um, and the photographs we'll be releasing that um, um, you'll be sitting there sat and thinking, why didn't I do it this year? And you know, this is the thing you, you guys are telling me I'm not a season. I'll tell you, if it was hockey, I'm there. <laughs> if there but I will do it. But look, we've only got a couple of minutes left on the show. So Suki, quickly, 30 seconds, final thoughts. Um, final thoughts, are, but I thank you for all the p people who are coming on the on the ride. Um, and there's a lot more people who wanted to come on the ride as well, and um, they they are not fit enough. But we expect we we want to help you guys train so you can be with future rides with us, basically. Perfect. Gov, thirty seconds. Uh, yeah. Also, following on from what Suki said, if you are interested in this ride, and I know there'll be a lot of interest, you need to start training now. You know, it's not a case of leave it to three months before. Yeah. Start training now. Get out on your bike. Even if you don't do this ride. Get out on your bike. It's good for you. It's good for your soul. It's good for your health. It's it's good for the environment. Yeah, you know uh, that's one of the reasons why we do. We all love cycling Perfect. as well as helping the sea cow. Perfect. Line. And plus, there's also like smaller rides that you can take part in. Twenty five mile rides, uh, fifty yeah. mile rides, things like that. So keep watching on the Sea Cow Line website for those updates. Suki Matu, thirty seconds. Go for it. I just want more females to get involved in cycling. Yes. Um, I think it's something that you're really missing out on, and yeah. You shouldn't let any barriers stop you because if I can do it, you ladies can do it too. Absolutely. Gyaniji? Well, uh, finally, i just like to say a very big thank you to all those people, Gov, uh, Suki and all of Jatinda, all of them. They've taken a lot of time, effort to organize this bike ride and also all the riders who are going to cycle along. Uh, and all of this, like I say, this is the it's a fundraising event, it's a financial support to the Sikh Helpline. That means every time when you, you cycle out there, you should always have this in your mind that you are not cycling just for the name of the helpline, you are cycling for those people who are suffering in silence. Absolutely. So everyone who suffer in silence and get the help from the helpline, you are part of it. Perfect. So you've heard it there, guys. This isn't funded by the government. There's no other p donations other than what you give and what other Sevadars give. This ride is there for not just fitness, but it's there to raise awareness, to get some donations in to get that support behind them. Because look, we don't know tomorrow, we could have a family member who's suffering from sexual grooming, alcohol abuse, drug abuse, bullying, racism, be at school, at work, whatever it is, the Sikh helpline is here for everyone. Not just the word Sikh, anybody, it's for all humanity. So you are donating to a very good cause. There's a lot of things that are being done behind the scenes and you know, just get there, support them. They need your support. That's why they're here today. Please wish them very well on the 29th of July from myself, Satnam Singh, and everybody here. Why, Why did you keep